This episode of the Lunch with Chris show is brought to you by my upcoming book, 30 Days to Limitless. You can find out more about it at Limitless30.com. This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. Welcome to the Lunch with Chris show, where your host, Chris Daly, talks with movers and shakers from all walks of life to get their opinions on important questions. Each season, there is a new question and new guests. This short, impactful show skips all the fluff and just brings you insightful answers from great guests. And now, doing his part to change the world in a positive way, your host, Chris Daly. All right, I want to welcome Evo Terra to the Lunch with Chris show. Evo, how have you been? I'm fantastic, Chris. I'm uh I'm having a wonderful time all around the world. Nice. Well, well, just to to fill people in, uh my connection with you goes back to the early days of podcasting. I guess you could call us both OPs, original podcasters. <laughs> and uh and and you've gone through a whole lot of incarnations uh but uh you've got some really cool stuff going on. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's jump right into the question which is if you had a teenager in front of you right now came to you and said, "Evo, I'm about to embark on my career. Give me some advice." What would you say? My advice to you, young person, <laughs> would be prepare for the fact that whatever you think your career is going to be, statistically speaking, you are terribly wrong. (laughs) You have to be much more flexible now than ever before. And just like business plans today rarely survive first contact with the real world, your idea of a career will probably not survive contact with the real world. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go try it. You certainly should, and you should put everything you can into it to make yourself happy. But don't assume that you have to do that forever because you don't and you probably won't. Very nice, very nice. So uh, let's, I guess, fill in the the listeners on the Evo Terra story. What what has happened? And you've got some pretty exciting news of things that are happening right now. Well, as you said, um, I've kind <clears> of <throat> been through a reinvention process of me since you and I were first introduced to each other back in the early days of podcasting a decade ago. <laughs> decade we've been doing this podcasting thing. It's kind of a crazy thing. Um, And yeah, my life has been kind of an interesting uh, series of twists and turns that fall back to the advice I gave, you know, and that is don't don't assume it's going to work. In the podcasting world, let's see, started podcasting, you know, one of the first ones ever, October 14th, 2004, wrote podcasting for dummies, launched a service called patiobooks.com, um, and then jumped deep into the startup world. I've done that for, for a while. I'm still involved with that peripherally. But in, in the last three months, um, my wife, Sheila D, and I decided to sell off literally everything we own and pursue a life of travel uh, around the world. Um, Nice. We're not, yeah, you know, we're, we're not independently wealthy. Uh, that was a, a big thing that people think that in order to afford this kind of lifestyle, you have to have a, a million bucks in the bank that you're willing to blow. And that's not true. I don't have a million bucks in the bank. I don't even have an order of magnitude close to a million <laughs> bucks in the bank. But we are um, on the road traveling around. And of course, because we're both deep into the social media and podcasting world, uh, we are documenting everything along the way with our weekly podcast episodes, which I know you're a subscriber to already, Chris. We're, we're putting out city guides that kind of wrap up the experiences that we had in individual cities. So it's not a top three things to do in Paris if you have four hours to spend. More of a here's what we did and you can explore along with us. And Sheila's been getting deep involved with these little one-minute memories, kind of a photograph slash video of the places we've been so that people out there can get a taste of the world that we're experiencing. 
Cool. So, so for people who want to follow the podcast, who want to follow what's going on with you, what's the best way for them to find you? Easiest way is to go to the opportunistic travelers dot com. Yes, I realize that's a mouthful. <laughs> You can also just type in shivo.wtf, and, and that'll get you there too. But we've, we're putting almost all of our collective efforts into that website, the theopportunisttravelers.com. Uh, there's a Facebook group up there now – or not a group, a Facebook page. We also have a Twitter account um, and a Google Plus. So if you prefer to get your information from us through the social spheres, just search for The Opportunistic Travelers, and you'll probably see our lovely faces. Nice, nice. Well, I, I can't tell you how envious I am that you're doing this. I, th- I think we've we've talked offline, and uh, my wife and I plan to do this after we grow up, <laughs> which is basically after the kids graduate from high school. But uh, I, I am going to be, you know, hanging on every word on those podcasts because uh, I plan for you to make some mistakes so that I can learn. Oh, man, I'm, I, I will promise to screw up royally just for you. <laughs> nice. All right, Evo, thank you so much for sitting down with us. You're welcome, Chris. Take care. You too. All righty, there you go. Hooray! That was sweet. <laughs> I like little podcasts like that. Oh, That's me nice. too. I've kind of switched mainly to all fast ones. I, I do yeah. one on, um, on Instagram called 15 Seconds of Real. Because yeah. it'll only record 15 seconds on the video. <laughs> I love it. And people love it. It's so quick. Yeah. I, I, well, you know, back in the day, there was a big discussion of uh, bite size, snack size, and meal sized content. Right. Uh, right. And then, of course, podcasting went through the dip that, you know, we all kind of went off and did other things or whatever. And now there's this whole new wave of people, and they seem to be all cranking out these gigantic <laughs> hour long programs. And I, I'm telling them, you know, there's more content than ever. The smaller you can make it, the easier it is for somebody to find it. That's yep. this, and, and easier for them to say, yeah, I'll listen. I, I can't commit enough. Another hour to listen to a damn show. Well, are you using Periscope or any of the new stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been I've been toying with that insanely. I went crazy on Meerkat, and then Periscope came out. I loved Periscope more, yeah. but uh, and now I'm thinking I'm going back towards Meerkat because the interface just seems to work easier. I, I have just got into to Periscope. I've only used it a couple of times. I'm trying to figure out how I can use that with our yeah. stuff. And I, I I did a couple of little things there that I'm not quite satisfied with. Of course, I'm never satisfied with what I do on video. Sure. Um, but I may try out Meerkat as well. So, all right, well, we should connect on those things as well. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thanks, man. I, listen, I know you got another show to go. Uh, you've got somebody from Uruguay you're talking to. My mom just got out of surgery, surgery, and she's been pinging me on Skype, uh, so I can see what the hell's going on with her. So be well. Thank you right. very much. And let me know when it comes out so I can pimp it, okay? Definitely will. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Uh-huh, bye. 